Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side, and I'm here in Blackpool Town Centre. It's early morning, only about half past six as I film this video, and it's a Sunday morning, the night after the big Saturday night with the young farmers. And I thought I'd take a look around the town centre this morning and uh, see what kind of mess they've made. We've got the council uh, street um, cleaning team out. Uh, they're already clearing up a bit of the mess. They might have cleared up most of it by now. I don't know. They're usually out at first light, but uh, I thought we'd take a look around and we'll see what it's like. See if they've made a bit of a mess. Probably have done. Let's go and check it out, shall we? So I'm starting here at the Central Library, yeah. Blackpool Central Library. Opened in 1911. Look at that there. There's a plaque there. What a grand building. And it's certainly got an entrance uh, that fits as well. But uh, the only problem about round here is I've shown it a few times from videos before. Is that look what we've got over the road? Just look at that there. What a bloody eyesore that is. And that has been like that for at least 10 years. And just over there is Queen Street. That's where a lot of the action was last night. Down there we've got Walkabout. We'll be taking a look down there in a second. Just over this way we've got the old job centre. Another building that's been empty for years. They purpose built it as a job centre. And then ended up closing it down. And it's supposed to be being turned into a hotel. Well, we'll wait and see on that, shall we? I just want to show you something else as well. Because we're just down the side of the of the library here and I mean look at that building you can just imagine back in the olden days when this was built 1911 sort of the, into the 20s and the 30s that they'll have had a nice garden here look we've got a wrought iron fence and they'll have had like plants and you know and flowers and all that sort of thing well now look at it now it's just like a rough cut in it it's like they've got someone with a strimmer just to go around it you know just to try and keep on top of it when this could be a really really nice lawn this couldn't it but that's just the way things are these days aren't they nothing's as good as what it used to be in the olden days anyway let's carry on and let's head down queen street and let's see what it's like down there shall we i think they've probably cleared most of it up anyway let's go and check it out shall we they're working pretty hard down there check it out look at it it's absolutely Dead, it's so quiet. I can't even hear the seagulls. Wow, listen to the silence. Just look at this. You know what it's like at night, don't you? Around here, it's absolutely manic, but at the moment, we're actually just approaching seven o'clock now as I'm filming this we're just outside walkabout and uh, you can see a load of uh, sawdust because they put sawdust down for the the young farmers to make them feel at home so uh, yeah this is how it looks first thing in the morning I just want to show you this place next door crazy horse I wonder if that's going to open again because uh, I've seen some people in there and uh, it's been shut for ages and we've got that place next door called Notorious that's new so yeah it's interesting to see it this time in the morning isn't it you know so so quiet I wonder if there's any stragglers of the young farmers left let's go and check it out shall we there might be Look at this. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a bit of a smell. Oh, I think we've got a straggler, folks. <laughs> I think she's been out all night. She must have been. Oh, 
well I did that a couple of times myself so <clears throat> I'm not one to talk I'm now at Talbot Square and not many people knocking about apart from a few seagulls seagulls are just uh, ripping into the the uh, what's left of these pizzas here So this is how it looks in Talbot Square and it was absolutely manic in here when I was here on Friday night I don't know what it was like last night because I wasn't in town last night but uh, it was absolutely how you doing okay <laughs> doing a good job there not as bad as last year oh that's good that's yeah. good <laughs> the guy there from the street cleaner just said it was not as bad as last year so there you go the young farmers they're not they're not as bad as what probably oh, i don't know they've got a bit of a bad name haven't they uh, and if the guy said it's not as bad as what it was last year then maybe they've uh, maybe they've been listening they've been listening so we've got to give them a bit of credit for that i suppose there's always going to be rubbish after a saturday night in blackpool and i think when you've got so many people like like the the young farmers it's it's going to happen isn't it look at this here a lot of market street here where the bus is here. I think also the takeaways as well you know just going past the takeaway there and uh, there's loads of takeaways they've got to have a bit of responsibility haven't they I suppose when you think about it because the rubbish comes from their plate they could have someone couldn't they who goes outside and just I suppose tries to clean up after everyone there but I don't know, that might be too much to ask. Leonard Jews are jewellers. That's uh, closed now. So many places, isn't it? All shut up. The high street is just not what it used to be, is it? Yeah, this is Bank Hay Street now. Just down the back of the tower. Got the beer monsters out early this morning. So just going down the back of the tower now, as we can see, look at that there, wow. Can't beat it, Blackpool Tower. Oh, the dog does not like that. Uh, does not like that uh, street cleaning machine. So we're not looking too bad down here actually. The greedy pig, that used to be the KFC. It was the KFC for oh, a couple of decades, yeah. And as you can see, they've been busy around here eating. We've got an Elmer here. Elmers are all over Blackpool. It's a multicolored Elmer. Which one's this one? It's called the Patched Elephant, or the Patchwork Elephant, and that's right down the back of Blackpool Tower. If you're coming to Blackpool and you want to check out all the Elmers, you want to play the game, there you go, there's one for you. You do get some characters around at this time in the morning. I'm going to head towards the uh, the front now. Let's have a look on the promenade in Blackpool. Oh, it looks so calm. Oh, look at the sea. Look at this, folks. I'm on the bike, by the way, just in case you're thinking, oh, it's a nice smooth ride, this, yeah. I'm on the bike. Just heading onto the comedy carpet. Here we go. Look at this. Got another Elmer over there. Look, that's a Blackpool Rock one, that. Check it out. Oh, I've got to show you the sea in a minute. It looks so calm out there. 
Another Elmer over there, they're all over the place, aren't they? That's like a silver one. Right, here we go. This is a shot now, folks. Are you ready? You can also take a seat with Elmer here, right in front of the Blackpool Tower. But I want to show you this now, because this... This, you know, people slag Blackpool off. They say it's a dump. Oh, they say, yeah, it's tacky and all that. But you cannot take away this view that we get from Blackpool. The Irish Sea. And it's coming in as well. Just listen to this. I'll let you listen to this for a while. Just listen to that sound there. That's the sound of the tide coming in here in Blackpool. Don't you wish you were here? Wow, that is amazing. You know, it's quite a while since I've been out this early, actually. So uh, it's um, it, it's good to get out early for a change. But, and just look at that over there. Look, the sky looks amazing. And it's so calm as well. It is so, so calm this morning. I think we're going to have a decent day today, actually, yeah? So, we're going to have a, a pretty decent end to the, uh, the the bank holiday. And I think the young farmers will be staying tonight. Another night, maybe? We'll just have to wait and see. So I'll leave the promenade behind and just look at all this space we've got here on the tower headland. Yeah, plenty of space to ride your bike. So I'm going to head back this way. It's actually pretty quiet for traffic, which makes a change because normally when I'm out early, this promenade is normally rammed, even first thing in the morning. Yeah. Just going past the weather spoons. They'll be opening soon. The Albert and the Lion. This is where the Showtime Museum is. I've not been in the Showtime Museum yet. And funny enough, I was invited as well, but I missed it. I missed it. I was away at the time, so I didn't get a chance to go in. But I will. I will get myself in the Showtime Museum sometime. There it is. There, look. And who remembers? the Palace nightclub that used to be in that building right there and he remembers the bridge as well that used to go across there you can see part of it there look a little bit of that bridge that they left Hansel Centre up there we're now going down coming up Bank A Street from the other side how quiet it is and when you think what it's like here during the day and the only thing is as well and I've mentioned this a few times before it's just concrete everywhere isn't it there's no greenery there's hardly any greenery at all in Blackpool is there let's take a look up here shall we this is Victoria Street and at the top of this we've got the Winter Gardens look at that view there isn't it awesome Streets of Blackpool Town Centre, first thing in the morning. Let's head down here, back at the Grand Theatre there. The Grand Theatre. Matcham's masterpiece. Frank Matcham designed the Grand Theatre around about the same time as what the tower was built so here we are at uh, Church Street I'll just give you a look up there look at this oh my god it's like the apocalypse where is everybody 
when all we've got are these like alien type light structure things they're like projection units what do you think to those a lot of people don't like those oh, i quite like them actually when they work you know they don't always work those things i wonder how much they cost here's a look down the other way this is corporation street Oh look, we've got a tree. There's a tree in Blackpool Town Centre. Here, on Corporation Street. That lone tree there. How lonely. We're now coming back to Talbot Square. So I think the clean-up team have done a pretty good job. They seem to have got rid of most of the, the rubbish. They're out at first light, you see. A bit, bit earlier than me. So I'm now heading back down here again. Look at all these wheelie bins here. They're absolutely stuffed. You know, I'm surprised that the seagulls aren't uh, a bit more prominent. It does smell a bit down here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it does. It smells a bit. There you go. I'll tell you what, it's about seven o'clock now as I'm just filming this last little scene now. Seven o'clock and it looks like the council have pretty much got it all straight. What do you think? Look at this, eh? There you go. Well, that was a bit different to going around at night, wasn't it? Made a bit of a change, didn't it? That was Blackpool first thing on a Sunday morning after Saturday night with the young farmers and if you saw my video that I did on Friday night you'll know a little bit about what they're like they're a little bit mad yeah a little bit of mayhem but it looks like they did make a bit of a mess of course as they would as any people would on a Saturday night it's always going to be a bit of a mess the next day but when the young farmers come to town, it's a little bit different because there's so many of them. It's absolutely mental. Uh, and also the council guy in the van back there said it was not as bad as last year. So that's a good sign. It's a good sign for them because it means that they'll probably come back again next year. I know not everybody's happy about that. There's a lot of people on Facebook I've seen. They don't like the young farmers at all. But anyway, let me know what you think. Um, that was a little look around Blackpool first thing. All I can hear now is the seagulls and the nest at the moment so the the particularly noisy at this time of year anyway i'm going to leave it there now folks if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one